Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, elderberries, boys and berries, cherries, peaches, and mangoes. How the hell are we doing on this fine Wednesday night? We got an impromptu uh, surprise uh, uh, governor's meeting. So we're going to do that. We're going to do that tonight. I, I I'd almost, uh, I didn't know, didn't know. Check this out. We're going to. Hey, everybody. <laughs> I'm going to give you a salute. All right. All right. Look at that. Look at that. I even busted out my my gold-dipped robe. We're going to look fresh for this. <laughs> Whew. Excuse me. This is not a normal raid night for me. Or normal, normal raid night. This is not a normal stream night for me, so it's a little, uh, little different. A little different. I was not expecting this. I was in a different mindset. Stoned out of my mind. And, uh, yeah, but here I am. Here I am for some RP. And look, look what I bought today. Oh, because everybody needs a Razer Base Station V2 Chroma, right? Right? Who doesn't need a... Who does, <laughs> it's for hanging my, my headphones on. It just looks pretty. It's fancy. But I wouldn't have bought this in real life because it's 70 bucks, but it was on sale for like 30 something. See that? Can you see that? Anyways. So yeah, bought that, set that up. Was not was not sad at all. Very very nice. Good quality. Catch your breath. Wait, what well, we got high race, highest. Catch your breath. Can't Put one because of that tray. I may lose power again. Looks around the room. Greetings. Hail King. Yes, sit. Wow, where is everybody? I'm the only one on this side of the damn table who even got the message or what? Hail to the king. Throws horns, baby. Ah! Oh. My wife's going out with the girls tonight. I'm, I'm staying home eating leftovers. That's how I'm rolling tonight. So the elections have just ended. We've got Ron back on the council. We've got... Um, Hank has moved from Jahon to Vesper. Race is still uh, the governor of you. It looks like David is still uh, Trinsic. So Ron just replaced Jeff. That's all that happened there. Jeff. They replaced them. Who's this? Sharknado Rex, I think. Yep. No one to keep Governor Patrick in line. <laughs> I think the off night may have confused some, sire. Hank's going to throw her shoe at me. Um, the king says, yes, it was to be expected. Because Ray said, yeah, I think because it's the off night, somebody's like, hey, screw y'all. There's Ron. Ron shows up. Ron's here. All right. Another town without leadership, however, was not to be. Another town without leadership, however, was not to be. Bro, that's a riddle. Riddles? Is that a riddle? Hey, Pyrants, how you doing? What you doing on this, this fine evening afternoon? What time is it? It's 5.03. It's evening now. We're, going, we're transitioning into the evening. Oh, what do we got going on here? Congratulations to all new and returning governors. Thank you, King. <coughs> Ron says, th oh, Hank says, thank you. <laughs> uh, 
I'm toasty. Yeah, I was just getting ready to complain because it's 72.5 in my office, but it's just because the sun's setting. Once the once that sun gets below our valley, yeah, it's beautiful. I can't complain. I shouldn't complain, but I'm a human. Humans complain. That's what we do, right? Thaila Lyra, I hope you represent Vesper as well as the governor before you. Who was the governor of Vesper? Gyatsu, the Stoic. Who was down there? It was Jeff. Why can't I remember who was there? Still around 87 down here in SoCal. Ugh, yuck. I don't miss that. Coming from Idaho, I'm used to, uh, I'm used to like being like 100 degrees, 120 in July-ish, June-ish. So it's it's about that time of year where uh, I'm thankful that I live at the Oregon coast. <laughs> Paul Anderson coming in with the, what is the wobbly head thing? What is that? TwitchCon hype. I like it. How you doing? How you doing? see what we got here an off night council meeting now in progress all governors urged to attend all right shoot i'm just gonna have to come i'm just gonna have to come up with a random update i haven't had an update and it's always good to see governor race and governor patrick that's me hey dude i haven't been playing uo in ages pirate says i'm glad i'm not in vegas yeah well over 100 screw that <clears throat> I went to Vegas in the middle of summer for a bachelor party, man. But we stayed in this Airbnb and the freaking, like the AC units were like half the size of my office on these roofs. They were crazy. Um, I have, I cannot give up UO. I went through a little phase where I tried, but it ain't happening. Um, <clears throat> I know Queen Mum is okay because she ran again. Yep, yep, true, true, true. Um... I, however, this is retail. I just play on a not so legal client because I like the smooth. I like things to be smooth. I can't handle that 2D choppy uh, 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 stuff. It drives me nuts. Let's get on to. Let us get to our report, shall we? Governor Patrick, would you like to do the honors? Yes, sir. Thank you. New Agencia has been working on a campaign for growth and expansion to our numerous vendor stalls and housing plots. Working on We want to build the inner structures of the town up to give the island less of a touristy feel and let folks know they can find a home in New Magencia. So to start the ball rolling, I will be moving. I will be <laughs> placing a nice little governor's house in an empty plot to encourage others to follow. Our finances, our finances are as well as can be and the citizens, the citizens seem content. No complaints from our little coastal town. That 
so so yeah there's a little bomb i dropped there so new magentia has tons of vendor stalls and tons of open house spots i was going to turn off my third account because i did not really have a reason for it but i've decided just because i want other people to come live there why not make the first move myself so i'm going to be putting a house in new magentia on the island i'll go show we'll go i don't have a place yet but we'll go look after the meeting and i'll show everybody what's going on there Uh oh, what did I do? We still have the paperwork for your chickens. The Royal Poultryman is working on raising them now. I look forward to this, sire. And the carpenters are still working on their homes. <laughs> So a few meetings back, I asked for some chickens in my town just because I love, I'm a chicken guy, I like chickens. So I asked for some chickens in New Magentia. So we're going to see what's going to happen here. Free range eggs, that'd be badass if just random eggs start dropping in New Magentia. I haven't really told anybody what the plans are with the chickens. I said next is a cow. Got to cover up my uh, <laughs> cover up my biscuits there. Well, we will have to file all new paperwork for cows. Of course, sire. If you wish. <laughs> no rush, of course. Whoo! Shit. <laughs> Almost sold out my master plan there. Listen, you'd be surprised what a guy can do with a chicken army, okay? I'm sure Governor Mountain Dew just couldn't make this time slot. To Wait, we have a Governor Mountain Dew? Okay, I didn't even, okay, I didn't know that. He was out on business. The thirst mission in here. Uh, how about you, Governor David? How are you intrinsic? Greetings, Your Majesty, and my fellow governors and honored guests. Ha! <laughs> just one. Just one honored guest. Screw you, other guest. So I used to use ChatGTP to create, like, a report for this and stuff. But I find it much easier now just to roll with my own things. Like, I had a little, uh, I had, like, a little storyline going on. But I pretty much just have transitioned into the chickens and me moving there. I'm pleased to say that uh, all is well in the city of Trinsic, and it's good to be back. Going to nod, nod, yeah, do some nodding. Oh, speaking of role play. So I play D&D &D like once or twice a month every Saturday, right? And, uh, well, as long as you have, oh yes, oh yes, trust me, the governor's mansion or the governor's cabin, I haven't decided on how I'm going to do this yet. It's got a purpose. Um, what do you say? Trades are expected to improve with the warmer seasons at hand, at hand, and this concludes my report, your... Honor. Sire. Lord. 
Great news. Whoop, whoop. Well, good. Good, good, good. Yeah, it's good to see David back. He was, uh, he was MIA for a while. Oh, Jesus, David. I'm glad to th see things are going so well. Bro's just popping all kinds of spells over there. All right. Who would have been here? Who's the governor of Moonglow? Do we not have somebody on Moonglow? That's awkward. That's fate. Fate was not going to be able to make it, if I recall. She may be on holiday. I heard it was gas. Oh, who's this? How's this folk? What are you doing? We're on me? <laughs> now, Hank, don't be throwing no shoes. Don't be throwing no shoes. Who's it? What? Oh, shit. Yeah, Ron is in between Fate and Hank. <laughs> uh. Let's see here, Adele. I'll be so happy. Hail, governors of Britannia and the citizens of Scarab Bray. Shut up, Ron. I am thrilled to announce my return to Governor Escarabay. So we had Jeff as the governor last term. The devil is his character name. <gasps> what are you doing, mamas? Puppy dog. <whistles> Distraction. It totally distracted me. What are you doing? Come here. Come here. Come here, right here. What are you doing? What is that? Oh, a piece of plastic? Come here. Come here. Yeah. Ready? Yeah! <laughs> Stream dog. Do -do -do -do. Look right here. Camera. No? Mwah. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Slimy lips. Oh, you look very pretty. You're welcome. Uh, Ron says, I am pleased to report that under his watch, Scarberry functioned like a well oiled golem. While the devil has now stepped down from his gubernatorial duties, he continues his service to our community as the chief of police, <laughs> ensuring the safety and order of Skara. Well, that's promising. That's promising. During my hiatus, I had the pleasure of exploring the far reaches of Britannia. Good Lord, Ronald. Become quite the sea. <laughs> I discovered several intriguing points of interest across the seas. And would be delighted to share these adventures with any of you willing to join me on a voyage. Yeah, Ron's a talker. He's got a whole freaking thing set up here. What are you doing, weirdos? I've never really danced behind you. You can dance behind me. Get back there. there. Oh. I get stuck. Uh, currently, we're investigating a concerning development that emerged just before the recent elections. And then he sticks his tongue out. 
What are you doing over there off camera? Are you scared? No? You're a wiener. Although I have no detailed reports to present today, I am eager to discuss our findings and the progress of the investigation at our next council meeting on the 14th. Well, what the hell? I look forward to serving Skara. Ron's always up to something. I think that guy's always up to something. Once again, and to have the adventures that lie ahead. All right. All right. <laughs> do we trust him? What do we think we're gonna? What do you think he's gonna do here? What do you think he's gonna up to? What do you think? Who's this guy? What are you doing down there, guy? I look forward to bringing these r issues to light as well. <laughs> oh, drama and Scara again. Ron says, this is all I have. Thank you. <laughs> Hank says, we are interested in hearing about them. You were missed, but I am glad to hear the devil took good care of Scar. That's, I don't know how well, I, I don't think I'd want to live in Scar with Ron being the governor and Jeff being the chief of police. That's, uh, that's not something I, that's not a town I'd want to live in. <laughs> the devil is a good man. Interesting. Interesting, Ronald. Oh, so I'm now in the mood, or in the mood, I'm now in the process of converting all of my stuff over to this Razor Chroma stuff because I have the Cairo camera, I have the whatever keyboard, I have the mic, this mic stand thing now, right? And, uh, they all do the RBG lighting, and they're all tied into each other, so that everything matches. And now I have to have, I need to get a mouse and something else. Probably a headset from Razer. Perhaps I could do a show and tell soon. Yes, indeed. As long as you keep your pants on. I'm open to pants or no pants. I, I only have that because it was on sale for 51% off at Fred Meyer today. And it was the only one there. And I was like, yeah, I'll, I'm going to buy this thing. So it was like 30 bucks. And I needed more USB ports. So it has two other USB ports on it. I can hang my headset finally. I never had a place to put my headset. And when I have an actual, like, an adult-sized desk, not this. My desk is only... I can't... Even, I'm an idiot. I was going to show you on camera. This is how big my desk is, chat. It's this wide. So, yeah. I'm dumb. Well, we've seen Ron without pants before. <clears throat> no pants, no service. I was drugged. <laughs> I was drugged, he said. We were traumatized. And intrigued. And intrigued. That's not the first time I've seen Ron without pants. It won't be the last either. Yeah, I didn't even know my Fred... Like, why would Fred Myers in this little last coastal town have this random thing? I don't know. But yeah, that was like the only one I'd ever seen in there, and it just showed up on this clearance table. Hopefully we can keep the pants on, the king says. Well, that doesn't sound very fun. By royal decree, rum in the eyes may help erase the image. Wow, you guys are no fun. But this is what everything's doing. Look at this. How do we want to do that? It's all just... Rainbow in colors during Pride Month. <laughs> Perhaps a royal decree, race. No, no, you keep you no royal decrees against Ron in his pants. 
Rum in the eyes? Yeah. You guys are no fun. Also, I was looking through a bunch of my stuff today, and I found a bunch of the 25th anniversary bottles that we brought over from Origin or whatever. Totally forgot I had those. Thyla Lyra, welcome. How's Vesper? So that was the, she was the governor of Jellum, Jellum. Um, and she sat right here at the head of the table, but she traded to a prettier town because, you know, that's how, that's how girls do. That's how Hank does. Happy keyboard month. Hell yeah. I think you still have a lot that you aren't aware of in that castle. So much. So much. I literally got mad the other... So, what was it? The, the other night when I... I was streaming Fortnite instead of Ultima Online. I think it was uh, Monday night. <clears throat> I just... I had played UO. I was trying to get ready for the stream. And I was getting all this stuff organized in the castle. And I just was like, wow. I've had enough of all these pixels. I was so frustrated with all the crap I just kept finding. So, uh, yeah, I, did, I just turned off UO for that night. I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm a hoarder and I have a problem. Oh, what, what, uh, what Hank say? Vesper seems to be doing well, have been in, have been traveling around the city and getting to know the citizens. They are sad that Lilac is no longer, oh, Lilac, that's who it was. That's right. Why are, it's crazy that a lot of like old time governors are like dropping out of the the running. It says, but they're very helpful. Um, like I'm pretty sure Race and Lilac had sat together for probably years at this point. Uh, but they are very helpful in informing me of how things work and who does what. I used to be there much lighter after letting my keep drop sadder too. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, I would. I think I would. Uh, I think if I was to lose my castle, I would have to quit. Like I know I say I won't quit unless the server shut down, but if I lost my castle and all the stuff inside of it, oh, yeah, I don't know if I would want to come back to that. Um, getting settled in the office, Lilac is very organized and it's easy to find documents. The treasury seems to be in good order. Yeah, you got handed a pretty good town there, Hank. A pretty one, too. I was trying to keep from coming back. It didn't work. No. Really? Wait, what? Really? You can't? Yeah, okay. I guess it's, you know, I've been to the point once where all I had was my characters no armor some gold my dudes were all like pretty much naked or in like outdated armor i had nothing and uh yeah i guess coming back was actually like part of the fun like rebuilding everything <sighs> this is addiction it's an addiction right here pixel addiction Man, my wife's going out to Mexican food. This is an early stream tonight. Am I going to get pizza? Am I going to get junk food, bro? No, no, don't do junk food. This is my third day back to the gym. Oh, my God. I torqued something in my shoulder. Laura Lee rubbed on it a little bit. Helped me work it out. But, uh, whew, I forgot this whole, like, being 40 and over thing because I'm 41. I, I got, like, a, your body's all you know so yeah 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 but she's going out we're not allowed pizza because but she's going out she's going out to ponchos it's a mexican restaurant i won't have to feed her see what i'm saying so i get free range of what i want tonight 
But I don't really want to spend my money on a pizza when I got a bunch of stuff downstairs to eat. I got leftover tacos and spaghetti. Yeah. Auntie Bug is enjoying her retirement and grandchild. Congrats on that, by the way, Hank. So just bury the empty box in a hole in the backyard. Yeah, right, man. There's bears. <laughs> the bears or the skunk will dig that right up. I, um... Shoot, I don't know if I have the pictures anymore, but they're, uh, when I first... Yeah, my first six or seven months in here, I think we were living here about six months or so, I look out my kitchen window, and there's two fucking bear cubs playing in my backyard, like... 50, yeah, like 20, 30 yards from my window. I'm just like, oh, do not like that. Ugh. I'll throw down with the bear. Don't get me wrong, but uh, I don't want to. Quite both. Is this the meeting for UO Live players? Mikey, what is Perry putting you up to, you butthole? Yeah, I didn't want to go out back and mess with those things for sure. And also, Mikey, this is the Lords and Ladies meeting of Sonoma's Governor Council. You know that. Now, if it was just one bear, I would have gone out there because I'm an idiot. But I'm not a total moron. I know cubs. You just, I'm not going anywhere near any cubs, man. And then we get the deer coming through the yard all the time. One of these times, I'm just going to run out there and, like, hop on the back of one and ride it or something, I think. I don't know. Or the elk. The elk scare me. I think the elk could kick my ass. The deer I could probably take, though. Your lord. Your lord, Mikeyton the third. Oh, shit. Look at this. We're, we're hardcore into sunset right now, and it's only 73.2. Also, I got on Amazon, and I found this stuff that you can put on your windows. It's essentially window tint, but it's like heat blocking. So not only do I have the heat blocking curtains, but the heat blocking tint will be added as well. <sighs> I'm not allowed. She won't let me. My wife will not let me have one because she knows I'll turn this whole top, whole upstairs into an ice bunk. And she's like, nah. No ice bunks. All right. Who do we got left here? Governor Race. Governor of you. Okay. I forget sometimes. The only reason I'm getting this hot, the only reason that my office is getting set in the 70s or sometimes in the 80s is is because when sun sets, so starting about 5 o'clock usually my time, the sun will start coming down. And I'm down in this little valley. So once it peaks, well, once it gets to about 6 p.m., so for about an hour, it'll start cooling down. But... It gets warm in here for about a few hours at night. And it's terrible. I don't like it. But I agree with her. I don't really need an AC. My night has gotten off to a rocky start, but I'm here. Before I begin, I would like to make my customary toast. Or, sire, I could not place your bottle correctly. Oh, yeah, look at We got bottles of booze. A bottle of wine, Apple Wine 2024. <laughs> yeah, and see, I'm, um, so by, if, if, if I was to go straight from my house to the ocean, I would say 500 yards straight from my house to the ocean. But I have to come up out of my house, out of my driveway, and then go down a hillside, and then I'm at the ocean. So it takes me like a few, like two minutes to actually get to the ocean.
Mikey, I love the ocean breezes here in Kansas. <laughs> yeah, I bet they're great. You guys got sand at least, I bet. But what is great, yeah, so what's crazy about this is we're close enough to the ocean that we get the ocean mist, not fog, but the ocean mist will roll in. And it'll like roll in up kind of like over our little valley and then drop down. It's really cool looking. And it comes in like right at dusk. I like it. It's fun. Also, I guess we're in like some sort of super low tide. I need to go out and film some videos because uh, some sort of crazy low tides going on. Didn't know about that. Ray says there's nothing significant to uh, report tonight about you. All's well. But I do believe we have business to attend to. What? What? Don't just... Concerning one of your prior requests. Okay. Okay. There we go. I'm like, what? If it helps, this part of Kansas was underwater a few thousand years ago when the glaciers started melting. I believe that. I believe that. That'd be a cool place to just go, like, fossil hunting and, like, rock hounding out there and just, like, wherever. Wherever that was, Mikey. Also, I didn't know this, but I had an uncle who grew up in, like, SoCal or something like that in the desert area. And I guess he, you could see, like, you know, obviously you could see. You could see the shooting stars coming down, but they would see the shooting stars coming down and go find them and find, like, little meteorites and arrowheads and all kinds of shit out there. Uh-oh. Shit. If I may, I'd like to turn the table over to Flar. Okay, what do we got here? Oh! Good evening, my king. Governors. Hi. Tons of fossils. So we find I find fossilized stuff in the rocks that I pull. Um, speaking of which, man, I just got super excited realizing I'm going to be done early with this stream. I'm going to get to eat some junk food and I'm probably going to go to the ocean and do some rock hounding. Um, <laughs> but uh, I've found like a few fossilized like shells and stuff like that. Nothing crazy. Hey, I love you. I love you. Have fun. Thank you. I'll miss you. Your aim will improve. Forever. Thank you. Just have you even asked her for you this? I wasn't invited. It is a girl's night. It is a girl's night. You gotta come invade the girls. I'm night. not a girl. <laughs> I'm gonna go eat pizza. You whine like one sometimes. You whine like one sometimes. Get out of here. I love you. That wife. That wife of mine. Um, thank you, Your Highness. You had requested my services scouting Nuzilm. Oh. To try and find out what the Sultan is up to. <laughs> Fuck that Sultan. He's a punk. He's rude. He's a rude Sultan. So I like to post my... Let's see here. I think this is the right command. Links? Yeah. So I post, I have a YouTube channel called Pacific Northwesting, and I post all of our stuff, like my wife and I, we go on adventures and stuff, post it there. But uh, I have found some crazy stuff, and I've learned a lot. But uh, I still have not found the one thing I need to find that I, I will be mad if I don't find before I die. Shark tooth. I guess you can find shark teeth. Just washing up on the shore. I will wear that. I will, if I find that, I will wear that shark tooth around my neck. I'll tell everybody I fought the shark and popped it out of its mouth or something like that. Oh, shit. Sorry. Uh, it took me some time as I donned the role of b beggar. People seem to ignore you when you do that smile. I caught sight of several of AF's men. Amber Crombie and Fitch? Amber Crombie and Fitch. Coming and going from the island. The Sultan's a punk ass. I hate the Sultan. Like 100%. Oh, is that, who's that? Hey, that's Hammer. Look at that badass fucking shield. Look at this guy. 
A shield and katana? I like it. I like it. Look at him. Look at him. Would you look at that? Bloop. My travels ended up taking me to the Serpent's Hold. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I missed something. Coming and going from mine, and all I could get was something about... Oh, what are they doing with animals? What are they doing with animals? Did they do something with animals in a small tavern? Is it a donkey? I picked up my first real clue. Bro's got bro's got to have his space bar set to hide. That's how he keeps like. That's why he keeps hiding like that. Uh, hope this isn't one of those perverted animal shows. Yeah, yeah. Bank sitting attire. It looks good. It looks good. I got mine on. I got mine. I got my golden robe on and everything. I'm looking good there too. Who's that? Artemis Trivia. What are you doing back there? You making honey, bitch? What you doing? Oh, they're smuggling rare animals. For what purpose, I have not ascertained. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. I wonder where they're smuggling. Where are they, uh... Where are they smuggling, though? Where are they keeping them? It's dangerous when people ascertain stuff. That's not a word that you hear very often. Oh, they're targeting unicorns. Whew. Thought it was dogs or chickens is what I'm going to say. <laughs> Fuck unicorns, man. I can't ride a unicorn. I'm a, I'm a dude. All my characters are dudes. Oh, he's gotten his first real look. Okay. How would you say that? You say Herbert or do you say Herbert? How much is Perry paying you, Mikey? How much is he paying you for this? This madness. Her bad is alive, but still captive and being forced to use his herding skill. Oh, okay, okay. Not enough. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. And you know this. If anything ever happens to retail, if retail goes bye bye, you will alive will be the first. Well, you can't see my finger. You will alive will be the first free shard I go check out. You will alive Outlands. And there's one other one. There's another one that gets streamed sometimes. I forget which one it is. But if our if if retail went bye bye. I would have to check out at least those three servers. No, not Faluka. Not you, Faluka. Um, you owe Alive. You owe Outlands. Frickin' what did frickin' um, what did Mustache Gaming play? Whatever server he played on, I think is which one it was. Why you owe Alive? I still yeah, you owe Forever. You owe forever. That's the one I was thinking of. So you owe forever. You owe alive, and you owe Outlands would be the three I try. Why you owe alive? Because Mikey and Perry play on you owe alive, and Perry literally does not talk to me anymore because I do not play on you owe alive. So just to give his little little butt cheeks uh, unpuckering, I would go check out you owe alive. Oh yeah, and Hank, and Hank. Yep, and Hank. But for me, and I've been like this my whole life, I do not like free anything. 
I quit playing Star Wars The Old Republic when it went free to play. I was like, I don't want this garbage. Get out of my face. I don't like any kind of free stuff. I like to pay. I feel like paying for it is somehow better. I don't know. Go, oh, who's that? Smells are coming. Oh, that did not sound. That does not. <clears throat> that's just, um, that did not sound appropriate. Winds up to throw shit at Patrick. I apologize for my tardiness, she says. Oh. Pain has less trolling. I could believe that. I could believe that. There's just... Like, okay, don't get me wrong. There's some WoW server that a Jonas plays on or has played on where it's like Ascension or something weird like that. Anyways... I don't currently play retail. Well, I don't pay for any Blizzard games. I don't do any of that stuff. But like that has had that has perked my interest a time or two, just because I like the f kind of how they took the concept of free skills, kind of how they have on UO and just anyways. But even then, I'm just like, what would be the point? What, what about all my achievements and all the things I've earned? What do they really add up to in the end? Nothing. So they're going on about unicorns. I don't like unicorns. Retail probably should have went free to play and tried to get on Steam. Did New Legacy... No, New Legacy has not started. In the end, it's all just pixels that we're... Yeah, that is pretty true. Um, in the end, it is just kind of pixels that we all fiend for or get that nostalgic like urge for. Um, but I will tell you... There's something about this particular era in my life of UO, like I would say the last four or five years of UO maybe, that is, has just been like good. It's just been better. It's been better than the the years I played even with my best of friends and closest of friends. And that's because I've been learning so much. I've been streaming. I've been meeting new people and like just doing new things. And I, I really do attribute that to getting out of my comfort zone and, and, and just trying the other parts of the game out. Like who would I would never would be doing this, Mikey? Television, Mikey. Television is not pixels that you can pick up and move around. Look at, look. I'm gonna put a look at. See that? You can't do that with the TV stuff. <clears throat> Television is just pixels. I will tell you, Mikey. I do believe that you and Perry are having the best time of your life playing on UO Alive. But there will be a time where retail will be circled back into your place, play circle or whatever. I just know. I know it will because it always happens. Um, TV is mind-numbing. Gaming is stimulating. I agree. But I do like watching sports on TV. Like that, that keeps me engaged enough. Uh, in my opinion, the biggest thing holding retail back is the lack of a modern client. There are some amazing new gen clients that aren't just cheat clients like many believe. Those do, that's So I'm using a not approved client, I guess, more or less. Like I, I, like, I can't handle the choppiness. I hate the way 3D looks. I have to have 2D. So I use classic UO client, and it's made this game a million times better for me. But I do not suggest anybody does it, because what happens if you get in trouble? I mean, they could just come through one day and be like, hey, idiot, you're gone. And if that's the case, uh, hello, you all alive, I guess. 3D is fugly, yeah. Classic UO is great. Enhanced, yeah, enhanced client, 3D, yeah. I guess 3D is the old version, but yeah, enhanced client. Ugh. Ugh. I feel like if that's all I had, I couldn't play this game. I couldn't play this game because I would rather play World of Warcraft. 
just because visually, visually, it's like UO2D, World of Warcraft, enhanced clients nowhere near either of them. Um, I'm using enhanced client, <clears throat> and that's fine. Enhanced client works for a lot of people. It's the most convenient way to play this game legally. We went to Texas for the UO fair or for UO2, found out that it had been canceled, and instead we got UO3D. I can't stand the modern runescape, but I think I'll SOB a, give the SOB a go. Yeah, I've, I've seen a lot of people playing runescape recently. Um, I know of a couple women. I know of a couple of women protect and take care of unicorns there. Perhaps they have more information. So ready yourselves and your able-bodied city citizens for a trip there this Sunday. So we have another EM event this Sunday. I look forward to that. I was having Laura Lee work out this like pinch in my back, and I I, I about kicked a hole through the damn wall. She's like on her little elbow, like working it out. Ugh. I was talking to a couple other OSI streamers, and they swear by the Orion client. I know a lot of people who use the Orion client. A lot of people. I have never tried it, never used it, but I hear it's a freaking mean machine. We must find out what they want these unicorns for and if they have already captured any. Fate's a unicorn junkie, man. This has got to be driving her nuts that her poor unicorns are being gathered up for some backwoods tavern freak show. What? Well, this don't make no sense to me. Damn, next low tide's not until 10 p.m.? It's going to be dark by then. You assist is a... Yeah. I still use Classic with no assist programs. Mikey, you're crazy. Wait. Cla this Classic. This one. Yeah. You assist. I had you assist, I feel like. Taz and Razor. I've heard of Razor. What's Taz? Like the devil? Tasmanian devil? Jesus Christ, Ronald. Exotic meats, he says. Is there a market for unicorn ribs? It helps with the night sweats. Taz you owe. Huh. I'll have to look into that. I've never heard of that. That's interesting. Yeah, in my personal opinion, if I could have, like, the devs come out and do one thing where they're like, hey, just do this, fine, whatever, I would love it if they just came out and said, hey, use Classic UO, that's fine, whatever, we understand that the uh, Classic client gives you aneurysms. I played a ton of, of Outlands, and when I found out that Classic UO could be easily used, I was like, well, this is basically a very quality of life thing I've ever, what yeah. Yeah, it's insane. It's insane. A good marble. <laughs> I am unicorn strange. All 120s in a magic. Damn, Mikey. Stick with Razor. I've never tried Razor. Razor. I, Razor scares me. There's like. You can do things. There's things on Classic that I don't even do or use because I feel it's too automated feels it just kind of takes away from the game and makes it a little too robotic for me. So I don't, I just don't mess with any of that stuff, I guess. Jam spawns are popular since there's no PvP. I don't know if I would say popular. That's not fair assumption. There's no PvP. So you have nothing else to do. So by... By my assertion, they're popular due to the fact that there's nothing else to do. And I still, I hold this. I will take this to the grave with me, Mikey. This is not like a dig on you alive. Perry hates this that I say this. I think some of the IDOCs are staged. I think some of the IDOCs are staged. You could add Razor and Enhanced Client to Classic UO. 
I do not have... Oh, wait. She hasn't visited to get her... You wiener butt. Psh. Retail iDoc changes suck. I agree. Yo, that's... Okay, Mikey. That's the thing. That's the thing. Are you telling me that in the course of the eight months or whatever, and this is what Perry and I would, would argue about a little bit. Oh, no! You're full of crap, too, so there's that. <laughs> what are you going to just come out of left field and tell me I'm full of crap? I think that is... Okay, you're telling me over the course of eight months and you've done hundreds of iDocs on this free server. Where are all these people coming and going from? Have you seen the people? Where are they? I think they're staged, man. I think they're spawned. I think their houses that the, the admins make and spawn full of cool stuff, and then they make an iDoc out of it. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Fucking Perry. I'm pinning that message. We need to see if we can find a governor as soon as possible. I miss that little squirrel, too. Jachum! Don't worry, he's still serving the city. Chief of police. <laughs> fate, Mrs. I told you Fate was going to have a problem with this. Do a few hundred and form an inform... No, that's what I'm saying. No one's given me any information besides the fact that there's hundreds of these things happening. But where are the people? Like, do you see like these people come and go like this? Like, you see people come in... And they play the game, and they build their house, and they get all this stuff, and you see them out there playing the game, getting this stuff, and they just disappear, and there's iDocs? Yeah, one or two a day? I don't know, man. To me, that's wild. That's my BSU cup. This is my grandpa's old cup. Perry says, lay off the drugs, dude. You need more drugs, Perry. Your ass is wound way too tight. Tight butthole. Tight. Busy server. Okay. If you see the player base, if you see the players and like... <laughs> your grandpa's teeth. Yeah, probably. That's fine. I love him. Um, if you're seeing the player base come and go, then I get it. I would believe that these people are coming in, trying the game, doing their thing, and then they're quitting their houses or falling or whatever. I just... That's wild to me to have that many things. There's 10,000 active accounts on UOA. That's wild. That's probably more than UO Retail, honestly, in my honest opinion. Oh, look at, look at Ron already. Ron and, Ron and Fate already going at it. Jesus Christ. That's disgusting. <laughs> I've never heard of that server. Yeah, I'm just... I don't know, Mikey. <sighs> I don't know, man. I have my i have my twisted views on it. I have my twisted views on it. You played UO forever. Okay, that's the, I'm familiar with that one. But recently... I haven't heard of UO Feluca. Population is so low across a lot of the free service, so 10K is so... Yeah, that's... Like, that's more than retail. That's got... That would be more than retail. I guarantee you there's not 10,000 people playing retail. I can see a rolling cycle of players. I've seen players on a live, not exactly like Outlands, but that's not a perfect scale. My favorite free shards... Have only a few. Yes, I think honestly, like my favorite free shard would end up being some random, like there's 10 or 20 people on there. Seven times startup. That's pretty nice. Better 
take a drink of this alcoholic beverage. Mr. Hammer, no worries here. I like it. I like it. Oh, God. Fate sitting next to Ron is going to be the best part about this term. It's going to be my favorite part. It's for casual play, not grind central. Yule Forever is very grind dedicated. Oh, yuck, no. Oh, okay, Baby Doll was the UO Forever player that I had I have watched stream. I didn't know that she went to a different server. Wow. Outlands is insanely busy. You can't go anywhere without seeing tons of people no matter what time of day or night. I would believe Outlands has 10,000 active accounts. I would believe that. I wonder how many they have. No, King. All right. Stand up, stretch my little governor legs out. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, but Outlands is so customized that it doesn't seem... Yeah, that's... And also Perry. Perry stated that because I think Perry's played on UO Outlands as well. Um, But yeah, it does seem too much unlike UO to be UO for me, if that makes any sense. Blow Ron a couple kisses here. Kisses. Well, then a weapon, Patrick. Always. I'm just going to stand on fate. No, you. <laughs> Um, they changed the, yeah, they changed the map completely. The world is based on like a post-apocalyptic version of Britannia. There are ruined versions of the old cities. You need to just have fun. I tried it, but it didn't feel like you woe. I got tired of PvP in 2001. <laughs> oh, and, yeah. Oh, and that's his name. Yeah, it's an amazing work. Yeah. However, it's going to come back to the same argument, which is, are they or are they not using stolen graphics? That is the forever question. <laughs> Ian Roia says I'm so happy to see all of you now what's now what's he going to do with the gargoyle shoe chew on it Yeah, I can't believe Lilac. That still blows my mind that they, they didn't run again. It's all stolen and they profit off it, yeah. That's kind of kind of how I feel. Uh, someone described it as UO, but with a jet pack strapped on and random asset packs, and I can't disagree. It's fun to mess with at least. Okay, okay. So essentially it's like, can we call it UO2? Because that's what I've called it before. Fate says she's going to throw a shoe attached to her foot. I said I'd still chew it. Yes. Another problem with Outlands is the housing spots are 100% full. They just even released a new landmass with over 3,000 spots, and they are now, and they're full now. But you can get an instant in room that's just like a one room house and pay weekly rent. What? I'm not mad about that. Ends are a good idea. I hate that I stopped playing for UO retail, but I got annoyed of trying to always use. Oh shit, this is going too fast. Trying to use Steam or Razor, and then with all the other subscriptions, I had to cave. UO Live is an entire UO world to put a house in, but finding open 30 by 30 spots can be difficult. That's crazy, 30 by 30. I actually had a thought about the in rooms taking a weekly gold makes you keep logging in. Maybe a little predatory, but it does get results. 10k a week for rent. Whoa, 10k a week? Jesus. I'd be broke so fast. 
You can also buy secure lockdown upgrades for in room houses. That's what I like about UO Fell. I was able to get a 30 by 30. I always thought UO should use the ends. Yeah, I'm surprised they don't utilize the ends more so. Same with World War, Like, a lot of... I feel a lot of games... I can't speak for Final Fantasy because I haven't played that, but a lot of games don't utilize the ends very well, in my opinion. <coughs> like, I would be cool if you could have, like, a locked room. It's my room. Don't come in there. Don't go in there, Ron. Keep your little feet out of my room. I'm going to go stand by Ron here. I drink your milkshake from across the room. What? Slurp? Uh, I found myself hitting the grind every day just to pay for an in-room. Oh. And vendor rent at popular vendor malls. After a while, I got burned out, but I can see how they increased. The yeah, okay. We have tents. Yeah, I like tents. I, we, there used to be tents in retail. Bro, we are overweight. I hear Ozempic works. Oh, God. Still have game items on me? Oh. Drop those here in my pack. I would be a huge fan if they brought tents back, too. Like, here's the... Th oh, just tailor shop clothes? <laughs> Um, here's the thing. I don't like when things are overpopulated. And I feel like right now we're really overpopulated. Most servers are just filled full of housing and stuff like that. There's no just like impromptu way for a new player to plop down and log out. We need to make this game a little more new player friendly. And I think a tent, just something they could plop down wherever and log out would be great. I felt bad for the way they were acting the other night. Those turds were on in. We're on in those turd mounts. We have a public vendor locations in cities for those who don't want a house or a vendor at a house. I carry a tent on me. Yeah, I would carry a tent on me at all times too. That'd be badass. It was like a shard full of Ron Fellows. <laughs> Dude, that's me. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I'm not. Ron said, dude, that's me. And Ray says, says, I know, I'm just kidding. I said, I'm not. We have a... Yeah, you guys have a lot of unique stuff. Like, I don't understand. And this is going to sound... No, this is going to sound like... Okay. This is going to sound corporate. This is going to sound very corporate of me. But I, if, if I was on the dev team of UO Retail, right, and I was like, hmm, what do we need to do? I'd be hitting up Reddit and the forums and stuff. I'd be seeing what people like about all these free shards. And then I'd be like, hey, you know what we need to implement? This or this or this. And I would try some of those ideas that these free shards do that work so well for them because I really do feel that that's what this game needs. We don't need new legacies. Damn it. I didn't mean to say that. I didn't mean to say that. We need new legacy. It's going to be fun. But we need so much. We need so much. So much. I'm going to get mad. Calm it down, Patrick. Calm it down. Uh, dude, a tent for free accounts and needing weekly activation. No lockdowns. Just the one chest it used to come with would be great. I used to play with about eight people who didn't want to pay, but would have to keep playing if they had to play some pet put stuff. Maybe just, like, yeah, yeah, just like a little quickie spot. So many hunt legendary tames. If you were on the retail dev team, you wouldn't think about any of that stuff because you're probably tired from your day job. Oh, that's me. No, this is their day job. They care. They're trying. They're they're just they're. I don't know what they're trying though. They're trying. They care. They care. Hello, nine one one. I'm losing hope. Okay, thank you. Wait, wait. If you want to give me a heads up on any of it. Wait, 
We haven't done any stories about Scara. You can stare Ron in the eyes. We need new legacy to be finished for sure. Yeah, I need my hands. I need my hands on new legacy. I need. I need it. I need it. I. I fucking need it, you guys. Like. Damn, I can't even tell you. What am I being yelled at? Yeah, stream boy. What'd I do? Well, everyone, I don't want to keep you all on the weekend. It's not a weekend, Ra. Weeknight. We're all dreaming about the weekend. Don't you worry about that. They don't care. They've destroyed you. Over okay, this is one view of it. Yes, the, the one view is they, they don't care. They've destroyed. <sighs> I don't want to believe that. Can I get this stick to my forehead? No, I'm not oily enough. I don't want to believe that. And I'm going to hold anything I may think about that until New Legacy is released. I'm going to... I'm either going to say, holy crap, they did it, you guys. Or I'm going to be like... <sighs> Know what I'm saying? I don't know. I have high hopes. I really do. I think that I think that it's going to be something that the game could use. Maybe it's going to pull in some new folks with a different kind of play style. Who knows? We'll see. Oh, God. That's not how you get out of here. Oh, no. I'm lost. Oh, no. <laughs> Hank did the same thing I did. Tried to go down the stairs. The stairs don't exist, Hank. It was all a joke. I'd like to see if they can get it done, then manage manage it well. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I'm just I'm I'm curious about the whole damn thing. You know, I didn't get in on any of the beta testing. I didn't get to do anything like that. So I just want to see it be. You know, I want to try it. I want to taste it. <laughs> I'm out. All right, we're going to go to New Magencia really quick. New Mag. Flip. All right, so. The beautiful, beautiful city of New Magencia. So we have a lot of freaking vendor spots here that aren't being utilized. So many open places. And I admit, I have a vendor spot here too that I have not been filling with things. That's my bad. But look at all these beautiful spots just waiting to be utilized. Also... I don't know where I'm going to place my house. I don't know if I want a coastal placement or something right here in town or something. I haven't decided yet. But I will be placing a house in this town. And uh, I will be a new Magentian as long as I'm a governor here. And I hope others will join me eventually. But I think you can only put a 16 by 16 here, which is going to drive me nuts. Um, they lack passion. And I've heard that. I've, I've heard that. This is going to be the big indicator. New Legacy is going to tell us if they lack passion, if they're just trying to put out some crap or if, or what. It's going to give us a big, it's going to give us something to talk about. Uh, most likely, if you bang your head on the wall ten times, that will stimulate like, no, Mikey! New Legacy is a new shard rule set that's been worked out for like five years. Whoa. It's like a season's things that's from WoW and RuneScape. Magentia is a crowded city now. Gotcha. Really? I didn't know it's been worked out for that long. What? <clears throat> I'm sorry I read that now. Mikey, you're being very mean. But you know what? I can handle it. I'm a grown-up. I ain't scared. Also, I do need to replace these books with some uh, purple bong things. So, anyways, we're all looking forward to, to New Legacy. We know it's going to make or break... Our current, it's going to make or break our dev team. Let's be honest. It is, if it's a, if it's a poor product, they're just going to rip into this poor dev team and it's going to be bad, but there's going to be a lot to talk about with it either way. And it's definitely going to be something I'm going to dive into head first. I'm going to, I'm going to learn every little inch of it. I'm going to become a new legacy factoid. You know, I want to, I want to get the full, I want to get everything I can out of this. I want to see 
what they've done, what what we can expect, if what we expect is going to be true, and if it's going to be enough to keep the hype about this game going. So, with that being said, let's check really quick here and see if there's anybody we want to raid. Oh, God, why do I do this? Why do I put myself through this? Like, oh, I'm going to look on the Twitch app and see, and then, like, Twitch app is stupid. Oh, my God. Who do we got? Oh, you know what? Pone Star. Speaking of free servers. Speaking of free servers, y'all. Let's go pay Pone Star a visit. He's good people. He's 100% good people. There he is. He's playing on UO Outlands. It's one of the places you may find me if retail ever dies. But until then, you're going to find me here. I guess I better start that raid button before I quit japping. And now that my wife's out on girls' night, I am going to enjoy a freaking greasy-ass pepperoni pizza with garlic sauce. Because that's what I'm in the mood for. So until next time, y'all, I'll see you later. And, and much higher...